So we got the call from Rural King that our Cornish cross chicks are in, our meat birds. So yeah, even if you're busy, you got to stop in the middle of the day and go pick up meat birds. So this time around, we're getting 50 Cornish cross birds. Um, they are, you know, used for meat production. And um, yeah, we're only doing 50 this time around and we're kind of doing it later in the season. Last year we started way too early. So the chicks were super high maintenance. Like we had to keep tons of heat lamps on them because it was a cold end of the winter. We get our chicks from Rural King. Uh, it's just our local farm store. I know some people can order them directly to their house. We just get them through. They're, the ladies um, and all the people actually at uh, Rural King are super helpful. So yeah, we just order through them. They give us a deal. And uh, so yeah, that's we're going to pick up our chicks and then take them back home and get them nice and warm in the brooder. It's hot this week, so that's actually good um, because they will not be cold at night. brooder setup, so right? Yeah. Because you've got your, your uh, ducks over there that someone gave to us, which happened every year. Okay, what is important to have in a brooder setup for your chicks? Uh, depending on the age, you need the heat, heat lamps, and then they need their water and their food. But not a water that they can drown in. Because <laughs> they will before. drown. They will do that. They're yeah, little dumb. We love them, but they're dumb. Um, let me see, what else? A clean kind, of, like a dry bedding you need, right? Yeah. Gotta be nice and clean and dry. And they need to be, like right now Heidi, the dog, is in here, but that's just because we're letting her in here. Normally no animals have access. You're not allowed to be in here. <laughs> Normally no animals have access. Murph, are you saying hi to buddy? Oh, he's dirty. <laughs> Chicks are friends, not food. So they'll live in here until they get no, in, no, until they you're are fully not tethered. Touch. That's when they can be moved outside because we're past freezing now. So um, they're going to live in here until that time comes. And Marie will occasionally change out their bedding to keep it clean and dry. We have had so many days of rain in a row. And uh, today it feels like it's going to rain super humid. I think it's like 95% humidity or something, but um, they're saying no more rain. So anyway, we are, we have been push, pushing off putting our meat birds out on pasture because of the weather. And uh, we also, because of the high tunnel, <laughs> have been pushing it off. <laughs> but today's the day. So I'm dragging a tarp out to Marie. I'll show you guys the setup, what we do with the meat birds in the pasture. All right, Marie, what are we doing, girl? I am putting a tarp on the meat bird tractor so we can get them out in the field because they've been in the barn making a mess. Okay, so, and the, the tarp serves as, uh, serves what purpose? Uh, wind block, rain protection. Sun protection. Sun protection. Especially I'm leaving that part open so they can get the sun if they want to. So here, let's super. go. This is the meat bird tractor. Let me get it all in the shot here. Um, it is made out of wood and, oh, the dogs are in there. <laughs> you guys like it in there? 
You can't be in there when the meat birds are in there. Okay, so this is the meat bird tractor. Here's the door. This open, you know, we just latched that with easy wire or whatever. Um, and this is made in this way. So it's a wood frame with cattle panels bent um, and chicken wire so no critters can get our meat birds. And we cover it with the tarp. Marie already talked about that. It is bigger, but we can, Daddy last year overlapped it. So let's just overlap it so that it's double the protection. Heidi, come on. So then this gets pulled every day. We have to do it every day um, because uh, the meat birds really like to, to rough up the ground. So anyway, this is how we get them on pasture and we're gonna move them in a little bit, but we have to do this prep first. So here we go. beautiful outside. <laughs> Today we're moving the meat birds out of the barn. We're getting Jesse. Come here. Ugh. Off the fence. <laughs> uh, saying hi to Heidi. So today we're moving meat birds out of the barn and moving them out to pasture for their last few weeks. And we're putting them down in the chicken tractor. That's right, we're putting them in the chicken tractor. So yeah, let's move those birds. Oh, they are huge. All right, put them in. This is a bigger one. We were about a week and a half behind schedule on doing this because of the torrential rain and storms. five-gallon bucket, um, attach them to some rubber uh, cans. All right. This is our water that we use out in the pasture. It's attached obviously to a hose and it goes back to the hydrant in the barn and uh, it is, hey Marie, dump it and just show it's, this is what happens when the chickens are drinking it and uh, the only thing that isn't nice is can't hardly is see, but it's filling up. So when the chickens drink it all, it self-fills. It yeah, it's weight, oh. it's weighted. It's all weight-based, right? Yeah. So then as the chickens drink it, it fills back up to a certain water level, but it doesn't, that way we're not hauling water. Um, it's just filling up nice and slow. This is what we use for our chicks too, like in the barn. Yeah. That way we don't have to constantly be filling up all their water. Yeah, because really they just make a mess of the water anyway. Right? So this is a way to just give them the water that they You get out of chicken duty because what are you doing? Weeding. Weed control. We have a crazy amount of weeds. Yeah, and actually behind you are not weeds. Those are no, potatoes. Those are potatoes. But those are weeds. These weeds just really love to take get in here and take over. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're in weed eating duty, huh? Plus yep. the weeds don't stop growing when the uh, rain is here, right? They no, just keep they on explode, growing. they keep growing even more. <laughs> so that's what we're recovering from all that, that rain. Well, good job. 